This Coast Guard helicopter is just one of the many aircraft that fly the Namarva skies. But this chopper, stationed in Atlantic City, responds to emergency calls from North Carolina all the way to Maine. The last thing the crew needs to be involved in is an emergency of their own, which is why they are extremely concerned over the increased incidence of lasers being aimed at aircraft. Obviously, if you've ever been at night and looked into a bright light and then moved away from that, you have that kind of green glow. Um, that can stay with you for a while, which uh, you can expect if we're flying low um, and in a critical phase of flight. Uh, that can actually uh, disrupt what we're doing pretty bad. It's called a laser strike. According to the FAA, there were over 3,800 laser incidents reported nationwide last year. Lieutenant Sean Chaveau of the U.S. Coast Guard admits he has never experienced a laser strike firsthand, but he explains what he's been trained to look out for. He describes a laser strike as an immediate blindness. Coast Guard flight rules say the aircraft must abort its mission following a laser strike. Any time a laser strike happens, have to take time away from that mission and do the medical and do the uh, checklist inside the aircraft. If everything's good, we can continue on at that point, but you've already distracted us and you've already cost us time. If you're caught aiming a laser at an aircraft, that's a federal offense. You can face a maximum fine of a quarter of a million dollars and 20 years in jail. And there's also a civil fine from the FAA, $11,000. Lili Zhang, 47 ABC.